What up guys and welcome back to Jesus Draws. I'm Jesus and today's video, as you can see by this giant paper, we are going to be drawing on this giant paper. I got this at Michael's. They had like these giant poster boards and it, it kind of looks like notebook paper so I thought that was pretty cool. I actually got like some cool ideas for this. So I'm just going to draw a giant doodle on this paper right here. So I'm actually going to start off with a quick pencil sketch real quick, so let's get to it. It was a really ugly face. <laughs> pencil, pencil, where's the pencil? Where is the pencil? Oh, here it is. Ah! Alright, after struggling to get my pencil, I relied on the old imagination box to help me free draw these doodles. I didn't even know you couldn't even see the dang thing because this pencil was so light, but I didn't record the whole process. So here we are, skipping right ahead to the inking part. Probably my favorite part. I don't know, there's just something so satisfying about inking and sketches and stuff and just like the way it comes out. But yeah, the whole process or thinking behind this video, you know, I was strolling through Michael's looking for sales and stuff that was on clearance. And I stumbled upon this piece of paper and like the big board, big piece of paper section or whatever. <laughs> and I thought, hey, this looks like a big piece of notebook paper. It kind of just reminded me of like when I would take notes in school and, you know, not pay attention, of course, and be drawing. And I just really like to draw these doodles where it looked like the doodles were popping out of the page, like it ripped the page and they're on the other side. So that inspiration hit right away. And you know, I wasn't really at Michael's trying to get inspired for a video, it kind of just happened. So you know, if you're ever trying to get inspired by inspiration, just sitting there waiting for it to hit, it's not gonna happen. You have to get yourself away from what it is that you're trying to be inspired to do. And you know, inspiration hits in weird times, so. That's how I got this idea. And here we got a bunch of little doodles. These, I can't really tell you exactly how they came out. Some, you know, sometimes you just gotta let your imagination flow and things just come out. And that's what I did with this. You know, just in the silence. I don't really play music while I'm doodling, at least in the pencil sketch, cause I feel like that slows me down. Maybe if I'm inking it a little bit, but also like coloring i'll listen to some tunes while i'm coloring i don't know if i really want to knock out stuff i prefer not to listen to music i feel like music slows you down if you're trying to get other things accomplished so that's just me though i don't know some people say oh if you draw while listening to music it inspires you more i don't know i used to think that but you know i did some experimentation and found out that's not the case at least for me i don't know everyone's different so work with works for you and yeah these doodles right here you know they just came out nowhere i think my favorite is that little cow getting abducted by aliens i don't know why or maybe those spongebob mashups on the left hand side i'll show you in a bit but you'll see over here the ones by the pineapple and whatnot and the weird alien mutant pickle thing i don't even know but these doodles came out pretty cool i like them i like them they nice they nice Got some dude right here with his hat backwards about to fight some like chihuahua or something. And we got Mr. Astronaut dude, you know, in space. And here we got the markers. I got these from Michaels also, of course. And they're Artist Loft. I'm not sponsored by either of those companies. I just happen to have these. Got them when they were on sale. Ha uh ha, -huh. yeah. And you know, actually, to be honest, I'm not really a huge fan of these markers. I don't know. I've never really used Copics to really tell you the difference, but um, I don't know. There's just something about them. I can't really pin my whatever thinking to it, what it is that I don't. I don't know. I'm just not used to it. I always use color pencils, but they definitely helped in, you know, covering much more surface area than colored pencils. This would have taken twice as long if I used some colored pencil, but I really just wanted to use these and hopefully they would have ran out when I was calling this stuff in but that wasn't the case i still got to use these and finish them off 
Maybe when I invest in markers again, there'll be cold picks next time. You know, these were alright. Maybe I know why they were on sale, but you know, if you will need somewhere to start, these are pretty good. I don't even remember how much they were on sale for. They're still pretty pricey for some markers, you know. Markers are expensive, yo. Maybe that's why I use color pencil, because I'm fucking cheap. But, I don't know. Growing up, I always just use color pencil more than markers. And these are actually my favorite little doodles. Little Spongebob and Mr. Krabs matchup. And then that Spongebob face looks like Squidward. We got this cool monkey dude in a suit. I really like that one too. I really liked all the little doodles here. You know, some of them are just things that I've done in other ones. Like the pyramid dudes. And also like... I don't know. I don't even know how I came up with this weird looking pickle thing. Here we got some chick with pink hair. She's just chilling there, staring off into space, wondering how did I manage to exist in this doodle. And then we got, you know, a pencil, a pen, the dude, a UFO, of course. Gotta have a UFO. Alien, shout out aliens. And we got a little cow dude, and then we got a little Jesus Christ looking character, you know, scared by the TV. I don't know, that's what kind of what it looked like to me when I drew it. We got Spongebob's house, you know. Not exactly how his looks, but that was the inspiration behind that. And yeah, overall, to be honest, giving myself an honest art critique, out of 10, I would give this one probably a 6.32. 6.32, that seems like a pretty good uh, rating to me. I don't know, I guess the fact that the blue lines are still in the doodles on the inside kind of makes it look like they're not actually popping out of the drawing. I tried to white out some in the beginning, but I figured it would look weird and I'm glad I didn't because if you can see going through the art graffiti and like the top of the pineapple, you can see it. So I think for the next time I tackle a video or drawing like this, I'm going to draw in the lines myself. So here is the process or you know after inking in the black background you know I'm adding the shadows to make the tears and the little characters look a little more 3D and then use some white out to make some cool little stars in the background you know add a little bit subtle little details to make it pop a little more but yeah y'all that's the drawing for this let me know what you think in the comment section below which doodles do you like in this drawing let me know if you'd like to see me do these again in the comment section below. Don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to keep creating. Be inspired. Don't forget to go out and get some sun. Don't forget to get some sleep. I don't even know what the heck I'm saying. Now. But yeah, here's the drawing. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe for some more future and don't forget to tip your waitress. Till next time, y'all. Peace and love. I'm out.